the big headline, the big headline should be, but it's not, Sacramento Kings beat the Golden State Warriors. They're up 2-0. They have put Steph Curry in a position he's never been in before. He's never been down 0-2. The last time was 2007 when Golden State lost to the Utah Jazz in five games. And since it's stat of the day time in NBA history, teams that go up 2-0 in a seven-game series have a series record of 92% Winning. Stat of the day, stat of the day, stat of the day, stat of the day. Here comes that what? Stat of the day. So, Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors head home and bringing some baggage along with them. We don't know when the NBA will make an announcement. Their decision with what they're going to do with Draymond Green after the moment with the Sabonis, where uh, Draymond stepped on his chest twice, and uh, he got tossed from the game. Sabonis got a technical for grabbing Draymond's leg. I want to go around the room. I want to ever. I want the Danettes to give me one sentence on what you saw last night on the play. So, if you were going to describe this play, let's say to your wife, that one play that happened last night, Todd, I'll start with you. It's one sentence, not a paragraph. Sabonis grabbed Draymond Green's ankle, and Draymond retaliated by stepping on him. Okay. Seton O'Connor. Draymond being Draymond. Okay. <laughs> you, your wife might have a follow-up question to that. Yeah. That, that, that explains it all, though. <laughs> it does. It's just Draymond being Draymond. Okay. Don't, no need to even look. All right. Marv? Sabonis grabbed Draymond's leg. Draymond retaliated. Okay. Paulie? Sabonis initiated the incident, and Draymond Green pushed off him twice to get down court. Pushed off. Yep. He, he With his foot, yeah. So he didn't step on him, he pushed off on him? I don't think he was... Uh, do I get another sentence? <laughs> okay. I don't want to break the rules. It's not a well, paragraph. Well, Remember that. Well, you said it was a push off. I, I did. I thought. I don't think he was... You don't think he stumped because the headline is stomped. Right. One, one of the headlines was Draymond stomps on Sabonis. Well, what I saw is uh, Sabonis is pulling on... Uh, on uh, Clay Thompson. And as they're going down, he actually tries to trip Clay Thompson. Then he gets into it with Draymond and grabs his leg and holds him. As Draymond's trying to get down court, he's trying to wrestle his leg out. Mm-hmm. He stepped on him to, you know, because that was the next, there was no floor. There was a body. And he pushed off. And then the second one, he gave him a little more. Yes. He- but he didn't have to do that little heel kick, flip out, leg spread kind of thing like he's on Broadway. That's not a natural motion for trying to get down Co- court. Correct. And it's all not a natural motion with Sabonis acted like he'd been attacked by a jackhammer either. Well, I don't know. I mean, I bet that dude kicking you in the chest doesn't feel good. But, that, that might be me. I don't know. But, but he's a big guy. Just because Sabonis grabs your leg, which is wrong, and he got a technical. That doesn't mean Draymond has to act that way. Right, I agree. I think they're both both deserve technicals. I don't think you kick someone out of the game. You don't think so? Do you think that Draymond Green is going to be suspended for the next game? Anybody think that going around the room? Think or think. wish? No, oh. think. <laughs> think. Mm. Does anybody think he'll be suspended for the next game? Game three. Yeah, I don't think he will. We we always acknowledge Draymond Green's basketball IQ, right? We talk about him being a smart player, but this is a dumb play because he was selfish. And then after how he reacted, it was about him. And I think if he could have said it in the moment, hey, listen to my podcast, I'm going to record that after the show, he probably would have tried to do that. It's we give him a we give him credit all the time. Oh man, he's a smart basketball player. He does some stupid things. This is a guy who started the season punching a teammate. So, like, you can't be surprised that he would do this to the opposition. He punched his own teammate. And here we are. And he didn't fire up his team. And it was a close game. So the problem I have with it is, I'd say twofold, but it's probably more than that. It's a close game. It's four points. Sabonis is going to get a technical. Steph will make the free throw. You have the ball. You're down three, seven minutes to go. You've been a terrible road team. You're in this. You have a chance to take this game, steal this game. And Draymond Green got selfish and made it about him. And then the theatrics after. Like, where's Steve Kerr? Steve, grab him. Tell him. Let's go to the locker room. 
You're not helping the situation. And if you watch in the timeout, Steve Kerr's nowhere to be seen. Grab Draymond. Help Draymond help himself here. But it's a selfish move on his part. Do I think it's a basketball move? No. Is it a reaction? Obviously. And look, Sabonis plays this way. He tangles up. They've had some moments the previous game. And I understand Draymond Green had his leg, you know, held or pulled by Malik Monk in game one. I I know all these things that you have to factor this in with Draymond's reaction. But how about Draymond reacts in a mature way? Remember Golden State's got the composure? They got the veterans. They're the defending champs. Sacramento hasn't been here. Well, who acted like they had been there last night? The Sacramento Kings, not the Golden State Warriors. And would I be surprised if Golden State won this? No, I would not. Because Golden State now, if you win the next two, now all that pressure is on Sacramento. But that building is going to be ready when you come back to town. You fired up them. You didn't fire up your team. It's a selfish move, and he's done this before. Yeah, Paul. And, and that's the part I really agree with. Like, Draymond Green, you know, I didn't think what he did was that awful, but he's got to know better. He's got no wiggle room. And, and Sabonis was selling it. And it reminds me of Rasheed Wallace. Remember after, like, 10 years in the league, he was still doing stuff, and he was getting called for anything? Draymond Green would have been, the smarter play would have been to go down and act like he was hurt and try to sell a foul on Sabonis because Sabonis was grabbing his leg instead of retaliating and, and stepping over him. Like, I don't think he killed him. I don't think he's really hurt at all. It's the second one, it, and yeah. it's how it looks. It, it, do I think Sabonis, you know, he went and had x-rays on his sternum. Like, <laughs> okay. You Thoughts know? and prayers. That's yeah. Good. yeah, T's and P's on <laughs> that one. T's and P's. Possible rib hurt. Yeah. But, but yeah, I know. But Green I would sell. sell it too. Draymond sells it. They all do. But Draymond is 33. He's got to know that the refs are looking at him, almost have an eye out for him at all times. Yes, Todd. You could argue you grab someone's ankle like that. Besides the fact in the heat of the moment you get annoyed and you just step on him like get off my ankle. It's like you can like hurt someone like that. You could pop someone's knee out. You can turn his ankle the wrong way. You know, what if what if he would have got hurt, Draymond, in a situation like that? You're about to push off and run down the court and someone grabs your ankle? Are you pro Sabonis or pro Draymond? I am pro Draymond. Oh, okay. I, I think because of his reputation, he's going to get hit worse. I don't think he should have got ejected. I think it should have been a flagrant one. Are you questioning Sabonis? I am. I think uh, I don't know if in the heat of the moment he was smart enough to say like I'll grab his leg and then he'll do something stupid and I'll get him ejected. I don't think he went that far. But you grab someone's ankle like that and you can yeah. pop his knee out of place. Something you don't know what's going to happen. I I, I do agree. That, you know, it's not a basketball move by Sabonis. When you're grabbing somebody and they're trying to run to the other end, it's a close game. I understand all of that. It's what Draymond, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. Sabonis was going to get a technical. Be smart. Steph goes to the line, makes the free throw. You got the ball. You're down three. You have momentum. Instead, Draymond gave it away. And then Sacramento picked up the win. And, and really, the bigger picture is Sacramento did what we didn't know they could do. Now you go to Golden State. Yeah, Paul. The best part was Sabonis was continuing to sell it, which I give him credit for. That's a smart move. It's easy <laughs> just, he is a very good ball player, very smart. But when he got up, he was like limping off the court. But I don't know if you can limp when your chest gets Right, it, it was a rib injury, but he was acting like, ah, like he was dragging his ribs around. <laughs> Smart move. Well, it's funny, too, because Tyler Hero, when he broke his hand, limped off the field. Or off the uh, court, rather. He li- he held it, and he was like, limping. Off. Now, granted, his hand was broken, but I don't know why that affected his feet. It's like a little kid. <laughs> this program brought to you by, by McGuire's. They have come to the rescue again. The hybrid ceramic tire shine renews dull tires by darkening the appearance, adding long-lasting high gloss, keeping shining when... Even exposed to water. Give McGuire's Hybrid Ceramic Tire Shine a try. McGuire's reflects your passion. All right, here's Draymond Green talking about what happened with Sabonis last night. Can you just walk us through what happened there? My leg got grabbed. Second time in two nights. Referees just watch it. I got to land my foot somewhere. And I'm not the most flexible person, so it's not stretching that far. So you didn't really see where you were stepping. You just kind of... I, I can only step so far. I'm pulling my leg away. Okay. And then uh, he was asked... <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> double down. Oh, he did. He had a bad hand and he doubled down. And that's where you go, I'm all in. And then somebody goes, oh, you are. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be. Uh, I got three. Uh, I got a full house here. Yes, Todd. If Sabonis can act that theatrically crazy about like, a, like that a ton of bricks fell on him, I have no problem with Draymond's explanation, even if we don't believe a word of it. All right. Thank you, Todd. Here's a, uh, another question to Draymond Green. How would you describe your actions and the crowd's actions after that? You certainly egged them on. Did you feel you needed to respond to them? Or were you hearing anything that, that you needed to respond to there? No, I'm just having fun. It's a fun game, fun atmosphere to play in. So um, it's fun. All right. Why not have fun with Sabonis and not kick him <laughs> or step on him? Uh. Here's uh, do we have a play-by-play? Here's Jim Jackson, our good buddy from TNT, walking us through the uh, incident last night. Now watch the end of this play. As he goes out, watch him grab Draymond right there. Now that right there is where the foul came in. So he grabs Draymond's leg right there. Now Draymond steps on him. He did. He stepped on him twice. Uh, whether he pushed off or just nudged him a little bit. And, and this isn't staying with Draymond. When, when you know, Christian Leitner did this in the NCAA tournament against Kentucky, against, uh, who is it, Timberlake? Aminu Timberlake. Aminu, yeah, it stayed, it stayed with him his entire career. One moment stayed with Of all the great moments he had in college basketball, and one of the great college basketball players of all time, there's still that moment. This isn't staying with Draymond Green. This isn't even the worst thing he's done this year. I know. When you when you say This is like seventh on the list of crappy things he's done this year. When you start the season by punching out your own teammate, <laughs> like, like you can't go, did you see what he did last night? He stepped on Sabonis. That's nothing. He probably does that in practice all the time. Uh and then he started yelling at the crowd, and I'm thinking, just shut up. Go to the locker room. Yeah. You don't, you don't need to incite. They're already incited. You've hurt your team, and now you're yelling at the crowd. Yes, Mark. Do you ever think the WWE has reached out to Draymond oh, Green? Oh, absolutely. I would. Because he's perfect. Yes, Rile the he crowd is. up. That's a great point, Mark. Great point. What's the poll question today, Seton? Is it pretty obvious? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I think so. I think right. you know, tossing Draymond Green from the game last night was excessive or necessary. It felt like in the moment it was necessary because I didn't know where we were going with that. And, uh, you know, Sacramento, the crowd, the reaction, and, you know, tight game. And, and maybe that's just let's separate the two, give a technical and Sabonis, and send Draymond to the locker room. Would I like to have had a flagrant? Mm. Yeah. But I have the benefit of watching it a few times. Uh, was it above and beyond the call of duty? Yes. Was it egregious? Yes. Was it Draymond? Yes. Is that enough to get him kicked out? Yeah, probably so. 